Okay, so I have a Polycom VVX250 in front of me, and we're gonna connect this phone over uh, a Wi-Fi connection and get this phone to connect to the Spruce system. So you can see up in the top corner here, it's essentially showing me uh, an indicator uh, with a few warning signs, I one in red, one in yellow, and then also like a, you know, it's showing that there's no network connect connectivity. But something's connected to the USB port, which you can see with uh, the first option there, uh, which shows a USB connection with the Wi-Fi signal. So if I turn this phone around, you'll see that I have this Wi-Fi adapter. And if you want these phones to be connecting over Wi-Fi, you need to purchase one Wi-Fi adapter per phone. Uh, please contact Spruce Support if you don't have a Wi-Fi adapter per phone and you need to connect the phones over Wi-Fi. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the home button. I'm going to navigate using these keys right here to open up settings. I'm then going to select the Wi-Fi option to open up uh, uh, the ability to scan for Wi-Fi connections in my area. And um, it's scanning and basically just, you know, just like how you do this on your phone. And hopefully we see uh, the scanning option disappear so that we can go ahead and connect to one of the connections. Okay, so I'm going to connect to this uh, option right here. So what I did was I'm just going to press the back button. I basically use these keys right here and I press the center key to uh, select the Wi-Fi network that I want to connect to. And then you should not press connect until you type the password. So again, I'm using the keys right here. I'm going to press the center key to open up the password prompt. And I've given a, given a really bad password here just to make this video easy, uh, which is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just went ahead and uh, typed one. If you have, um, and before I do the next one, if you have a password that includes characters or digits, what you want to do is if you, you know, if it contains the character, um, let's just say K, you're gonna have to press five and then you're gonna have to keep uh, pressing five until you select, you know, it shows you on your screen that you've selected K. So I'll do that again. If I press five, you'll see there's a, an, a, a little indicator that shows up on the screen. Um, for what, what, which of the options, which of the characters I'm trying to select. So I go ahead and say I want to select L just so you see what it does. So I press five and you can see I need to press it a few times to select L. I'm going to backspace now because mine is just a really simple one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to select one and then I'm going to select two, but you'll see two does not start with the letter with the digit two. It actually starts with um, A. So I'm going to have to type two a couple of times um, until it basically goes back to the beginning and actually selects two. Now I'm going to do the same thing with three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so I type my password. Now I should press save. And then now once you can see there's an asterisk to show that you typed in a password, I can press connect. Now it's going to wait to connect uh, to my Wi-Fi network. Let's um, wait for it to do that. All right. And once your phone is connected to the Internet, it will reboot a couple of times, as I mentioned. And you will see a screen that looks as follows, where you see the Spruce logo. You see the time matching, the time um, time zone that you're in. And you see that the phone does not have any X's or warning signs. It just shows that it's connected to the Internet and then it even shows the lines that are configured on your phone. So if you want to test this out, you just pick up the phone and then you go ahead and dial your number. So I'll just go ahead and dial a number to show you what I mean. And then you press dial. And so that's basically calling out and that call out should be successful. That calls are working um, and that your phone is fully functional. When you need to configure inbound calls, you need to do that through the contact groups or your numbers to ring list in the Spruce application. Um, for which there should be help center communication or help center documentation for you to review. I hope this video made sense for how to configure your phones to be connected over Wi-Fi. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us um, over Spruce Support.